Today we're shifting our focus from beauty on the outside to beauty on the inside. That's right, we are talking all things health and wellness, and we can't do this alone, so of course we're bringing in an expert. Yes, we are joined by celebrity nutritionist whose clients are huge, huge stars like Jennifer <laughs> Garner and Jessica Alba. Kelly Levesque is here, yay! <laughs> Thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. My we have pleasure. a ton of questions for yeah. you, right? <laughs> I know. This is your personal consultation, you so know ask what? away. I'm kind of treating it like that, because it's January, and the only thing we've been talking about around the office is all the eating we did over the holidays, and how we're gonna fix it, and how we're gonna start right, and, how, and, and the celebrities whose tips we're gonna take yes. to do it. So that's what we wanna chat with you about. So first things first, you have a new book, I do. Just Body Love Every Day. It came out on December 30th. Amazing. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. I'm really excited about Tell it. Tell us about what we can um, read in this book. What are we finding out? So I talk a little bit about my eating plan, which is called the Fab Four. It's a checklist of healthy things you should put on your plate at every meal, and it includes protein, fat, fiber, and greens. And in this book, I go into way more detail about your lifestyle. So I have a chapter for the plant-based devotee who wants to be vegan or vegetarian and how to balance blood sugar and eat to feel full. I have um, Girl on the Go, which is quick 30 minute meals, Domestic Goddess, and Red Carpet Ready. And that's where I give all my tips for getting someone ready for a roll or a red carpet. Amazing, yeah, I think I'm a little girl on the go. Yeah. Me too. Girl on, the go. girl on the go. I think that would be me. But uh, <laughs> yeah, so the, fa so the Fab Four, you have a smoothie that people are obsessed with, especially your clients. Yes. Your Fab Four smoothie. So the Fab Four smoothie, what I found was the majority of smoothie places is just a huge smoothie full of sugar. So I wanted to help people balance their blood sugar and feel full drinking a smoothie, and that includes protein, fat, fiber, and greens. Real easy. And there's Jen just making your smoothie. Yeah, yeah and actually her recipe is in my new book. It's called Cookies and Cream. Um, once she made that recipe and put it up using the formula, I started making it. It tastes delicious. It's chocolate protein, almond butter, blueberries, chia seeds, and spinach. That's awesome. It's delicious. Ooh, yeah, and we were talking about your fridge earlier. <laughs> because yes. you put up the tour, very similar to Kim K, except this is Goals. a lot more. This is fridge gold, right? Yeah. Kim's fridge. Kim's Kim has like fridges. seven fridges. Yeah. This is a little more normal for. This is my day. version of cribs. <laughs> yeah, right? right. A lot of produce, a lot of leafy greens. <laughs> I yeah, I love this. This is goals. This is what I need to be doing. I need to be meal prepping. Definitely. So but at the start of a new year, obviously everybody has. They're making health resolutions, and everyone seems to be having a different opinion about what's the most effective. Yes, sure. that's right. So many celebs are on this kick too, giving up everything from alcohol to meat. So we gotta we gotta talk about it all. Sure. So what are the things that we should be giving up? Let's let's start with alcohol because so many celebrities and you know all, all of us. Everybody knows yeah. that when you're drinking too much, it's not a good thing. And there are so many people who've given it up for good, and you can see it. So. J-Lo, Kim Kardashian, Brad Pitt, Bradley Cooper, Kelly Ripa have all been quoted as saying that they do not drink. Now, J-Lo ages backwards. I know. Yeah. Like, and it, yeah. And she's and absolute goals. Us, right? <laughs> yeah. She takes such great care of her body. She really does. I mean, cutting out alcohol is really something that can support um, your beauty from the inside out because alcohol needs to be detoxified through your liver and drinking too much can elevate triglyceride levels in the body, can create inflammation in the body. So taking a break, even if it's just for January, yeah. is a great thing to do. Dry you wear is a thing and you should try to do it. <laughs> Do you oh. do it? Or I do. I, I mean, I just had a baby and I'm breastfeeding, so, so I, ve I very, right. very rarely cool. drink as is. Um, but yes, I'm I'm joining my husband with dry wary this year. Nice. I'm trying, guys. I know. I'm really trying to. I'm trying. I'm trying to at least not drink on the weekdays. And that's, then on the yeah, weekend, that's the thing. a little wine. But Honestly, like that's what you should think about, just lowering your overall intake. When I get with clients, if, for example, they have dinners out and they have to be social and drinks are on the table, it's just about the lowering the number of drinks you're drinking throughout the week and trying to use clean alternatives, whether that's like a clear tequila or vodka, because um, it's less conjugars, which are known to like break capillaries and make you have that redness Ooh, on the skin. Yeah. Um, or if you're using a wine, finding pesticide-free organic wines are really affordable now at Whole Foods and Trader Joe's. Thrive Market is a phenomenal place to get pesticide-free wine. Every wine they offer is pesticide-free. So that's lowering your toxin levels. Wow. Yeah. Clean, you can get cleaner alcohol if you yeah. if you really enjoy you can it. Still drink. <laughs> and in case you need more proof that cutting out booze works, ET just caught up with Jane Seymour at the SAG Awards, and here's what she had to say about it. I've been doing that intermittent fasting yeah, me thing, too. Mm -hmm. and I decided not to drink any alcohol for 23 days, and this is what happened. It ain't fair, Jane. 
It ain't fair. It's cheaper because now I can fit in my old clothes. <laughs> I mean, she looks phenomenal. She looks phenomenal. She looks phenomenal. Like, I, I guess that's it. I guess we're giving Kitty up drinking. <laughs> I know. <laughs> we're I guess that's up that earlier. I know. But a lot of people are also plant based. Mm -hmm. What's your thought process on that? Do you eat? Are you vegetarian yeah. or vegan? I'm not. Okay. You're not. No. Okay. Um, but I do prioritize quality proteins when I eat protein, animal protein. I think uh, when it comes to becoming plant based, the things we want to be careful of is that your diet doesn't become a, a whole bunch of processed foods. Yeah. I know that all the processed meats coming out that are that are fake meats are really easy ways to get protein in for vegetarians. But I actually suggest that my clients eat whole food plant based proteins like nuts, seeds, and beans, because a lot of those fake proteins come with inflammatory oils like safflower oil and sunflower oil, processed gluten proteins and soy proteins, which aren't always great for people or their skin. Yeah. And some celebs you were just seeing up there that are famously plant-based, uh, Joaquin Phoenix, Natalie Portman, um, vegans, and, yeah. and have said for years that they're vegans. And Beyonce actually switched to plant-based eating when she was um, training and preparing for the 2018 Coachella performance, which, I mean, Look she at looked booty amazing. <laughs> and she said that her diet was pretty restrictive during yeah. this time, but she was training for something. So I guess, like, my question is, the difference between what a celebrity is doing to prepare for something versus what we would do to In everyday, everyday life. life. It's sustainable. What, what's the sustainable way? I think you want to think about it as being primarily plant-based, and that means put, making sure half of your plate is vegetables and produce. Non-starchy veggies like cucumbers, broccoli, asparagus. We're adding to our plate instead of thinking about being thinking about living a deprived life and a, having a do-not-eat list. Yeah. Even with my celebrity clients, I'm sitting down and we're really trying to focus on the positive, like adding. What should they be adding to their plate, whether that's fiber and greens or a healthy fat versus saying, oh, you can never have X, Y, and Z. So you're talking about fake meat, and the Impossible Burger is everywhere. Everyone's talking about the Impossible yeah. Burger. A bunch of celebrities are investing in it. It's becoming a huge business. Yeah. Jay-Z, um, Katy Perry, Serena Williams, uh, just to, to name a few. Yeah. What, what are your thoughts about it? You said fake meat's questionable. What do you think? Um, I'm not as impressed as I thought I would be with the ingredients, yeah, unfortunately. What, what mean, are the problematic ingredients for you? Well, we're talking about um, industrial seed oils. So you're gonna find, like I said, safflower and sunflower oils. These oils are extracted from the plant using hexane, which is a strong chemical, and they oxidize under heat. So they become inflammatory chemicals that your body needs to neutralize with um, antioxidants. So we should be eating, like you said, whole foods instead. Yeah, I mean, I was I was really diligent when creating my second book because I wanted to have a chapter for plant-based, the plant-based devotee. I wanted them to have options. It took me about 14 tries to come up with my veggie burger, but it's made with roasted veggies, mushrooms, black beans, like real whole food ingredients and healthy oils. Like um, we have avocado oil in that and healthy fats like walnuts, for example. There's so many options. That sounds great. And also when it comes to like the beauty industry as well, that's vegan and cruelty free and all that. Right, we do talk about that we a lot too. It's like if that's something that you're, you care about in your life, you'd want to extend that into your skincare. Yeah, it's yeah. Your makeup. And people that have um, vegan brands, Jeffree Star Cosmetics, Jessica Alba with Honest Beauty, and I mean, the, the list goes on. Tracy Ellis Ross with Pattern, she just started her hair care brand. All of these celebs. I do I do love that because it's like if that's something that's very important to you, you want to extend that throughout your life. And I think a lot of brands, especially celebrities who, who also care about those things, yeah. they're starting to recognize that. But is it clean? So that uh, that's what I was going to say is you can have a cruelty free vegan brand that isn't clean. Yeah. Honest is an exception. What Jessica is doing is pulling out products and uh, ingredients that um, aren't great for us that yeah. because your skin is so permeable so everything that goes on you topically is can, can come into your bloodstream and so clean beauty is really about pulling out chemicals and, and also if you want it to be cruelty free honest is I think a great option yeah and I honestly I'm I'm a makeup junkie so like that has been my hardest thing I really want to change over and go fully clean but like the glues and the foundations and all the I wonderful know. Things All the chemicals that make us so beautiful. <laughs> chemically. Just, I know, petroleum-based products it's really hard. do a, a number on our skin and make us look great. The problem is, is it's coming, it's, we're permeable. So I, what I would say is when you, you know, run out of a mascara, 
Give a Clean um, want to try. There are so many brands that are online, like the Detox Market and Credo, that you can go on and they've done the vetting for you. They've pulled out um, chemicals and toxins and they have options. Yes, EWG is also a really great app to have. Just oh yeah. I, I, yes. Oh, yes. You can scan your products with that. There's an app for it. Yeah, Think Dirty as well is another app where you just scan your product and it'll tell you the ingredients and if there are, are any chemicals or toxins in them. And that's a really cute name.